<laughs> uh, this is a guy who I am aware of. He's is one of those people that I have a vague familiarity with, and that's just um, as a byproduct of running the forum. However, I don't have a deep understanding of him or his history, but I will try my best to explain this. A long time ago, in a galaxy far away, um, there was a young internet, and deviant art arose on this young internet as a place for artists to post their art, um, and also their very, very terrible fan fiction. Um, I think even fanfiction.net was a thing before DeviantArt, but DeviantArt came along after and kind of stole its slender. Um, regardless, the furries realized, hey, wait a second, this website isn't single-purpose towards furries. We need our own thing. So, lo and behold, a brave soldier of furrydom named Dragoneer started. Now, I could be wrong. It could be somebody else who just took over, but I'm pretty sure it's Dragoneer. Dragoneer started, I think, a website called... It's not Fur Affinity. It's, a, it's a F.A., but it's not Deviant... Oh, it is Fur Affinity. Deviant Art. Okay. Fur, sorry. My brain flatlined. It started Fur Affinity, which is just Deviant Art for furries. Um, and I think part of that is probably has to do with porn, because it's very pornographic, I think. Um, so, Lo, he became, this kind of became like the central furry art repository. And I want to say that there is a, a kind of a rivalry between Dragonair and um, another guy that runs a bunch of other furry shit. And he's kind of trying to start up his competition to Fur Affinity, because um, Fur Affinity sucks. And uh, it hasn't been improved for a very long time. And uh, this this uh, has kind of opened the doors for someone else to try and um, compete with it. Who is the guy that runs the the other furry sites? The guy that that sticks massive dragon dildos up his ass. The horsecock guy. Oh, that's killing me. So okay, Zolcano started it, I guess, but Dragonair runs it. No, it's not Mr. Hands. Not Vouch. <laughs> yeah, the E621 guy. Varka. Varka, that's it. This, here, this guy with the furry avatar, he happens to know who Varka is. Surprise. Um, <laughs> no, not Vouch. Vouch does not run a bunch of furry sites. It's Varka. Um... He, yeah, he, he, like, I think he owns Bad Dragon. And he, he advertises Bad Dragon by sticking tank shell sized horse cocks up his ass and posting the video of it. And he also runs a bunch of furry stuff. And I think he wants to start his own version of Fur Affinity. The whole point of that diatribe is that Fur Affinity is on the downslope. And at one point, Dragoneer sold Fur Affinity to IMVU, MVU. Which I'm pretty sure Envy was the name of that social media network that was like the most horrific Bratz doll looking avatars ever. I've never used Envy, but I am aware of it. Um, and Envy quickly realized they had bought a turd, and Dragonair quickly realized that without Fur Affinity, his life had no meaning, so he bought it back at a loss. He took out loans to buy his own site back at a loss, even though it had lost value. Um, so that <laughs> that's how good this guy is with business. Now, from what I understand, Dragoneer is like 500 fucking pounds. I don't know if it's a meme, but people say that he's like death fat, mortar bound, stuck in bed. I can believe that, but he complains about his health constantly. Um, now, you would think the guy who runs one of the largest furry social media sites in existence. And even if it's not that big, furries, for whatever reason, are some of the spendiest people on the planet. There is nothing e easier parted than a furry from his money. For whatever reason, they love to spend money. They love to spend money in the community. And generally speaking, if you run a big furry website, you should be making a fuck ton of money. Uh, Dragoneer has not managed to adequately monetize his site, and I've heard like a billion excuses for this. 
Like it's hard to get um, advertisers. He sells premium, but he doesn't add any features f- to make it worthwhile, and so on and so forth. There's no fucking excuse if you own if you own like a legitimate website that has a huge user base and they're all furries. You should be cash out the ass rich. Uh, point blank. Um, he's apparently having a bit of an issue, and his issue is that he's out of money. Uh, so here's here's some messages. He's having um. He's like openly begging on Blue Sky. So here's what he's saying. Uh, he goes by Near, by the way, no relation. Uh, AC repair folks are here. It turns out it got so hot from this heat wave, one of the capacitors blew. He's oh shit, it's eight hundred dollars. This includes a full cleaning, multiple replace parts, and a ton of coolant. My unit has a tiny micro link. Um, then he complains about his his health. Oh my god, the pulmonologist got back to me. I'm not gonna die. I'm not gonna die. I can't stop crying. Um, did they give you any kind of diagnosis? He says not over the phone. Appointment is July 30th. I have some time, but I have a reason to fight now. I've lost like 90 percent of my strength. Breathing is incredibly hard. I've got like every symptom of pneumonia, and I don't want to have it, bro. It's time for a poll. Okay. <laughs> I can't wait for people to debate this in the comments and get really, really angry at me. And okay, chat question: Dragonier versus Medicare in a fist fight. Vote one for Team Nier. Vote two for Team Four Star. I want to see. I'll continue to read these. I expect your input on my chat messages. <laughs> Uh, specialist called to ask if I was going to need financial aid, uh, as this could easily start out in a five figure range. And the snarky side of me wanted to respond. No, no, no aid for me. I have one of those giant crayons filled with loose change. I got this. Of course I said, yes. So this is the other thing. He's like broke as fuck. And for whatever reason does not qualify for Medicaid. So he's begging to, like, pay all of his bills cash, and he doesn't have insurance because he can't afford private insurance. But for whatever reason, he's also somehow fucked himself over um, so that he uh, he can't qualify for Medicaid. I'm actually surprised by how many people voted for Dragonier. I want to know, Team Nier, what is it, what is it about... <laughs> Okay, so Medicare wins by 65% over 34%. <laughs> um, okay, someone says Medicare has a broken leg. That is a big disadvantage, but Dr- Nier is too fat to walk. <laughs> he can roll on top of Jim. There are some people who are skeptical. Jim is unable to walk, um, but Dragonier is 500 pounds, so... Jim's bones are made of glass right now, but he has a he has a wheelchair. He can he can just <laughs> maybe he can he can roll over Dragon because Dragonier is too fat maybe to sit up. He can just roll over his neck and win by default. <laughs> Cr- crush Jim. <laughs> Perfect could Sonic roll over Jim's broken curves. That's mean, bro. Okay, enough of this before I get in trouble. Before everyone starts yelling at me again. Uh, posting a copy of my initial diagnosis when they thought it was just pneumonia. I wanted to provide some transparency. So many people have put their trust and kindness in me. I guess this is him going in for an x-ray. For some reason, his receipt is literally re- re- printed on receipt paper. Interesting. Weight, 400 pounds. Okay, so that does conform it. He is 400 pounds. Um, he's a BMI of 55. That is crazy. Not looking good, Jim Bros. <laughs> See, the greatest thing I've learned in my life is to let things go. No matter the regrets, the I wish I had, and the painful memories of the past, I cannot change what has been, only what will be. To dwell on the past is to let grief consume you. All you can do is be the version you... I assume he means want to be moving forward. I says, I'm viewing this as a future me problem. I just need to get through it first. I'll be launching a GoFundMe because, well, I can't work. Treatment is estimated to take two to three months. 
I have a fever of 102 right now. And I can only focus on one thing at a time. By the way, I just remembered. Um, this was actually important, the 400 thing, because I think he posted receipts before, and he was over 500. So he lost, um, his sickness is so severe that he's lost 100 pounds of fat just by, I guess, fighting off disease or something. Um, he's saying that his lungs look fucked. He has a $5,000 medical bill. Um, you have a $25,000 estimate. And that's unrelated. I just want to, to kind of, I don't know, maybe this will become something more more interesting over time. Because uh, does this guy have a living will for fur affinity? Who does he give it to? Ha, I'm I'm struggling. It's like you can't afford your medical bills, but we have Medicaid in the U.S. How how do you not qualify for that? If it's like if fur affinity is his asset that disqualifies him from having Medicaid, like why would you not structure your assets in such a way that um like you don't own them? Like put fur affinity into a trust, have you be the beneficiary or executor of the trust, and then don't own it. Like, do anything besides just sit there complacent waiting to die because you can't afford medical bills. Like, any, I think I think there is possible to figure this out at this point. Maybe just enjoy his e-begging. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice!